Hi. Well, hello. How are you? Good. How are you, sir? How are I'm you? I'm fine too. I'm fine too. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Richard, and I live in the beautiful country of Chile. I Chile. live in the beautiful Chile. of Chile. Is it and South American country? It is in South America. Very good. It is in South America. Oh, uh, it's good. right. Mm -hmm. Right here. Uh, it's my first time I'm talking to a person who lives in South America. Oh, well, welcome. Well, welcome. So yes. tell me, tell me something about this South America. How big is it? How is it different from the United States of America? And what is mm -hmm. the culture? What, what, what are the cultural differences in these uh, two countries or continent? Ah. Well, Chile, Chile is the longest country in the world. It is mm -hmm, uh, uh, 4,300 kilometers long. Oh, wow. That's really great. The distance, the same distance as between London mm -hmm. and Baghdad. London and? Bag, Baghdad, Baghdad, Iraq. Okay, Baghdad. Got it. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Spanish is is the language of Chile. Language of Chile. Spanish. Language. Mm -hmm. Spanish. Okay. And because there are mountains over here and the ocean here. Okay. Desert here. Desert. Okay. And. Antarctica down here. Okay. Chile developed its own culture. Okay. Okay. Because, because the people, <laughs> there's mountains here, ocean here, desert here, snow here. So, oh, got it. So, everyone had to they develop their own specific culture. Okay, yes. it's, a, it's a combination of all kind of environment and uh, the weather conditions, okay? It's not basically That's only cold, only hot. It is a mixed culture and environment. Very mixed. In fact, off the coast, off the coast is Polynesia, like Hawaii. Okay. So it's like Hawaii, right? So and it's when, I, and when I'm watching the map that you have shown here, it is uh, nearly similar to a city in India, Mumbai. Mumbai is also a city that is in the distance, a long city it is. Oh, it, now is that where you live, sir? Do you do you live in India? Yes, I live in India. I'm from India. Very cool. Where in India do you live? I live in uh, a state of Haryana, uh, a small town, Rivari, I belong to. And uh, uh, my city is uh, just uh, 90 kilometers away from, far from national capital, Delhi. Oh, okay. All right. Very interesting. And tell me, what do you do for a living, sir? What do you do for a living? Uh, firstly, I do, I make my YouTube videos about teaching English. I am wow. English teacher. I'm an English teacher too. Wow. Uh, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank well you. Done. Well done. And uh, the second is, uh, I'm a website designer too. Uh, so I do website designs. Very clever. Very clever. You're very oh, imaginative. I'm, uh, See, I'm, I, I, I am not very clever. I'm not very imaginative. I'm not clever. I'm not clever. So <laughs> I'm a very simple person. Uh, I'm a very simple person. And uh, you know what? Uh, before I connected with you, I was thinking about whenever I find a teacher on Camly, mm -hmm. uh, mostly I see that they talk about learning Spanish those who are from the United States of America, uh, mm. those who are native English speakers, they mostly try to learn Spanish. So mm. could you 
please tell me why they are more focused about spanish that's a very good question that's a very good question now here is the united states right right yellow one mm -hmm. what country is this okay it is not properly visible exactly yeah it's mexico mexico okay green one right so mexico okay. central america south america okay this is the okay. south america south america Got now it. now most countries in south america speak spanish except okay. brazil brazil okay. speaks portuguese Portuguese, got it. Portuguese. That's why I speak both Spanish and Portuguese. I speak okay. both. So you are basically I have the knowledge of three different languages. Correct. Right. Correct. So, okay. but the reason is, it, it's hard to see here, but see, next to America is Spanish speaking countries. Okay. So, so there is a lot of interchange. A lot, interchange. Of interchange. a lot of people go there and go a lot of people from there come to these countries. That is correct. And, okay. and Mexico is a, one of the leading trading partners with the United States. Okay. Okay. Now, as you have talked about Mexico, I have a very, uh, high demanded question in my mind i was thinking from a last a few days uh, there is a state in uh, there is this province in united states the new mexico right new mexico yes mm -hmm. so is it uh, the some kind of area that united states has captured from uh, mexico country or is it completely different another very interesting uh, question there there are 50 states in the United States. Got it. 50 states. states. Each, each state has its own culture and laws. Okay. It's like 50 countries in one country. Right. right? Absolutely correct. That's right. So, uh, so uh, there was a, a war between a war between Mexico and the United States. Okay. Once once okay we won <laughs> we won so mexico won no we won america won okay america won okay okay america won so 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 part of mexico became part of the united states Got california it. arizona new mexico texas utah okay. Okay. Nevada. Okay, these so, all five states you are talking about, these were the parts of Mexico. That is correct. Okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it. Yes. So when it happened, uh, in which uh, time period it did this uh, war? Oh, very happen? good question. Yes. Uh, uh, 1840s. 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 Oh, very, way more back. Way back. Way back. Right, right, right. But that at that time, India was under the rule of uh, East India Company from Britain. I think. That's right. Uh, yeah. That's right. Like in 1840s, it was under the rule of East India Company. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So America so, got freedom at that time from Britain? Yes. Uh, America. America declared independence in 1776. Oh, wow. It's really a very old country. Uh, However, as a free country. As a free country, it is very old. Uh, yes. Act in 1812. However, Great Britain tried to take it back in 1812. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, they lost. Lost again. Yes, oh, they lost oh, again. Oh, oh, oh. But, but Great Britain did burn down 
uh, the White House. The White House, the uh, uh, Washington one. That's, that's in right. Washington. Okay. That's right. They uh, burned it. They it burned it. Not, that, if it is not ours, it will not be for you also. That's right. So they burned it down. But, but to cover up the smoke, the, because the, the walls were burnt. It was brick. Okay. It was okay. all brick. It was brick. So there were burn marks. So okay. to cover up to cover up the burn marks, they painted it white. So oh. that is why it's now called the White House. White House. Okay, that's the history behind the name of this uh, White House. And at one place and on the White House, you can actually still see the burn marks on the brick. Okay. There is one place you can still okay. see it. Okay. okay. Got it, got it, got it. Good. So I, I, very good, I suppose, very good question. I suppose you are uh, very well uh, knowledgeable about history. So, are you a history teacher, or just as a people, as a citizen of this country, you know all this? Uh, a little bit of both. I do teach history. Okay. I do teach history. Yeah, I do teach history. Uh, your knowledge but is telling you that. But I, I teach history, the interesting things. Okay. The interesting things. For but instance, for instance, even Americans don't know this. After the British burned down the White House, they burned it, right? Right. Terrible, terrible, right? And here was the British Army. Okay. Here was the British Army. Do you know what happened? No, tell me, please. A tornado happened. What happened? A tor tornado. tornado. A storm. Okay, storm. Like a uh, the sto circling one. Yes. Okay. And, it, and it destroyed the British Army. Wow. Climate did it itself. So, so they ran back to the British, ran back to their ships. Okay. They ran back to, and do you know what happened? Tell me, please. Another tornado came. <laughs> I got them again. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you can say that uh, the environment uh, or uh, the area, I don't, I'm not getting the right word for this. Uh, in Hindi, I know that word, but in English, I'm, that wire is not been coming in mind, but uh, God, somewhat like God, did not want them to win or did not want them to return their home country. Many people say it was a a signal from God that said, "This is God's country," right? And right. because you did this, I'm going to destroy you. Not once, but twice. Twice. So definitely, they won't be able. Uh, they wouldn't be able to go back to their respective uh, location. Yeah, it, des it destroyed them. It destroyed the British Army completely. It the British Army. Yeah. So it's too bad. This incident, too bad. This incident ended the war completely. No, the, the war continued on uh, until the Treaty of Paris. The Treaty of Paris. Okay. The, the Treaty of Paris, uh, but. Yeah, it. The, the British people said enough. God spoke and said, "Don't, don't do that more. Don't, we give up. No more. We give but up. Yes, right, right, we get, right. forget it. Yeah. So, so sir, actually, uh, many Americans don't know that. Hmm? Okay, sir. Tell me one thing. Uh, only forty-two seconds are remaining. So, what was the reason behind? that uh, the Great Britain, a, a very small country it was in the area, and by population-wise, they were very small. But what was the reason they controlled the half of the earth? Naval power. Labor power. Naval. Naval power. Ships. Naval power. Okay, shipping power. Shipping Ships. Power. Ships. So they have he, who, he who controls the oceans controls the world. 